I'm Steve Anderson, and I'm a 35-year veteran of the insurance industry. I've spoken to over 50,000 agents all across the country, helping them understand how to help their clients minimize risk. And now, the game has completely changed, and the biggest risk that companies face is not taking enough risk. The reason for this is technology. It makes things go faster, and companies need to react faster to continue to be successful. To react fast enough, companies have to innovate, and the definition of innovate is risk-taking. Bottom line, it's innovate or die. So let me give an example of a company that failed to innovate, BlackBerry. When the iPhone was announced in 2007, they were at the very top. They controlled the market for mobile phones and email on phones. They didn't think they had a problem. In fact, they were very successful. The iPhone came along and completely destroyed their market. They did not keep up with the changing consumer attitudes. That was their biggest risk. The more successful a company becomes, the more risk averse they become, and that starts their decline. On the other hand, Apple was innovating. They came up with this thing called the iPhone. Nobody knew they needed it. They didn't know if it would sell. That was a huge risk for them. Today, it's hard to argue that the iPhone hasn't been their, certainly, most successful product, generating billions of dollars of revenue. Apple was even willing to kill a very successful product, the iPod, because they put that into the phone and cannibalized their sales for the iPhone. That's what I call taking risks, and that's what leads to innovation. For most companies, when you talk about innovation, it's in the terms of, we want innovation, but you better be right. And when that's communicated to employees within the company, they're afraid to come up with new ideas. They think their job will be in jeopardy if they make this suggestion, which is maybe outlandish. But you know, some of those outlandish suggestions actually could be the next best product. Google's fairly well known for providing a percentage of uh, employees' time to work on their own projects. In fact, that's where Gmail came from, was an employee project who was working on a different and better kind of email system. So it may seem counterintuitive that on one hand we need to protect against too much risk, and on the other hand we need to increase the risk. And so what companies need to do is learn better how to balance those two competing forces together. That's one of the things I can help companies to do. I'm not gonna walk in and give you the answer of where your sweet spot is, but I am gonna walk in and give you the questions you need to answer to determine the sweet spot for yourself. Those questions may seem a little subversive, in fact, a little dangerous, but the biggest danger is to never ask them.